in Q2 of this year, as in the last three months that we just saw happen this year, Tesla deployed more batteries than ever in its history. In fact, a lot more. Their growth in their energy storage division has far outpaced any other division within the company. Of course, it's far outpaced their car division, which is a good thing. This is what Tesla predicted would happen because batteries have continued to come down in price. And it means that they are now so feasible for so many different businesses. And that makes so much sense. A new big battery has just been built in Alaska, solving a lot of problems for the local people. And I really love this kind of thing. So here's what has happened. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Tesla Megapacks have now come together to form a massive battery in Alaska. Now, it's not massive in comparison to some of the world's biggest batteries, but it is a big battery and it is going to make a big difference to people in Alaska. Interestingly, this wasn't driven by Tesla. Two utilities in South Central Alaska have installed a big Tesla battery system in Anchorage, consisting of 24 megapack units. The project will save about 121 million US dollars over 15 years. People always think, what is it going to cost to install it? But they don't think, what is it going to cost? Or how much can we save over the long run? What matters is not the politics of today, of next year. But what matters really is the economic benefits that things like this will give countries, cities, towns over the next decade, the next 20, 30 years. Batteries like this, they won't last for five years. They'll last for at least 20 Tesla Megapacks were installed in June on land owned by the Chugach Electric Union, the majority owner according to Anchorage Daily News. Now, Tasmanian says that the 63 million project consists of 24 Megapacks. It includes the Matanuska Electric Association, primarily serving the Wasilla Palmer area, which owns 25%. The batteries will be charged and ready to go in October of 2024, but maybe even sooner, say officials. The new battery system will reduce utility gas demand. In particular, pika plants. Pika plants are incredibly expensive. I mean, you look at your electricity bill and you're like, why is why are prices so high? Um, well, pika plants are the key reason. Get rid of the pika plants, energy comes down in price drastically. Battery storage devices get rid of pika plants. That's what Tesla is competing with. Pika plants. It's a very easy low hanging fruit to compete with because pika plants are um, unbelievably expensive. Sometimes the electricity cost you'll pay from a pika plant at peak periods, they have to kick in because there's not enough, basically not enough supply in the network. They have to kick in with this super expensive instant energy. It's not instant, but close to it. And it can cost up to a hundred times more than the usual price of electricity. Managers from both utilities are working together to distribute power to customers in the most efficient way, says Chris Kohler, the project manager for Chugach Electric, during a tour of the project in June. They will instantly provide power if the grid fails, requiring a new power source. Instead of running gas turbine generators to do this, power can be quickly obtained from batteries, which saves a lot of money. Gas turbines are peaker plants. So it's operational efficiency, savings on gas and operations and maintenance on our thermal generating units, Kohler said, referring to the gas-based peaker plant units. In addition, Tesla's mega packs will also reduce greenhouse emissions by burning less natural gas. Now, keep in mind, another benefit to these batteries is the latest mega packs now have lithium ion phosphate cells in them, meaning they'll last longer. They're less prone to fires. And they're just a better product in general. Plus, they're bigger than the previous versions. Mark Henspeeder, business development analyst with Chugark Electric, said it's improved resiliency. It improves the ability to bring on new renewable projects as well. Megapacks are located on the site next to the South Central Power Project, and this will be connected to the rail belt power grid through the plant. The batteries will be able to produce 40 megawatts of electricity for around two hours. That's equivalent to roughly 15% of the city's needs at any time during the summer. The battery system was installed as two utilities and others on the rail belt network look for alternatives to natural gas and look to find ways they can save money for the locals in terms of their costs that they pay for electricity, but also saving money themselves as utilities. 
It'll be a great way to learn as we look at larger energy transition, said Julie Esty, a spokeswoman with the Matter Nuska Electric Association. It also means a lot less emissions. Gas, sure, it's not quite as bad as coal, but it's still fossil fuel. It's still not a good option. On the Kenai Peninsula, southwest of Anchorage, the Homer Electric Association last year installed a larger Tesla battery system consisting of 37 megapacks. The utility is seeing substantial savings from the batteries, said Larry Jorgensen, Director of Power Fuels and Dispatch at Homer Electric. Now, there's really no reason for Homer Electric to say, hey, this system is saving us money. Uh, it doesn't, they don't make any money from saying this. So they're just simply saying what is actually happening. They are saving money as a result of putting in batteries. The capacity of the battery system helps close the gap between electricity demand and generation he said, meaning less need for pika plants, which is what I said before. We use ours for system regulation. When the generation we have doesn't meet the demand in the system because people turn things on and off all the time and we're always chasing that, Jorgensen said. Tesla plans over the next 24 months or in particular the next 12 months to ramp up its production of its energy division and to actually increase the size of its energy division by around tenfold by over the next five years. That's a huge increase. Where all those, what's going to happen as, as a result of all of that? Well, we're going to see more and more batteries like this just scattered all over the world. We have them in Australia from Tesla. Uh, the many places around the world have now Tesla mega battery systems. But, um, but fortunately, Tesla's not the only one doing this. BYD is doing the same thing. Uh, there's not only BYD, CATL do the same thing. Now, one of the advantages of Tesla systems, they have very, very good analytics, very good systems, computer systems that are able to interact with the grid seamlessly. That's the key here. And that's quite often why Tesla is chosen in spite of the fact they're not the cheapest. Often that's why they choose using Tesla energy systems because it is actually the simplest. It works the best in terms of its interaction with the grid and the software is able to actually work out really, really well when that peak demand is needed and actually just make it all work seamlessly. It's a pretty much the same thing with a Tesla Powerwall. And it's one of the key reasons why so many Powerwalls are sold. Now that said, I'm not saying you should buy a Tesla Powerwall instead of the competition. You should absolutely look at all your options. Either way, the future of the world, it's trending towards renewables and that is speeding up. Battery pack prices are coming down. Sales are coming, prices are coming down. Deployment is going up. The price of solar is going down. The price of wind is going down. I know everyone hates this kind of stuff when I say it. Not everyone, but a lot of people do. They think it, we, sh we should all think the world's coming to an end. No, 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 things are bad. Viking, no, things are terrible. Well, my friends, things are actually improving and it's great to see. Let me know your thoughts though. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.